three, two, and one. What's up, everybody? We're back today. We're gonna be taking a look at the 2009 Mercedes-Benz 4MATIC. We're gonna take this car out on the streets, see how luxury really feels, and also take a look at the exterior interior of this amazing vehicle for sale here in beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. Stay with us. All right, everybody. So we're cruising in the S550 for 2009. What an absolutely big vehicle. Man, it's big, it's roomy. It's like a land yacht, as some people say, weighing in around 4,600 pounds. Under the hood of this beast, you have a 5.5 liter V8 with around 380 horsepower and right around 390 on torque. The fuel tank for traveling has around 23 gallons of fuel that it holds in it, and it gets around 21 on the highway and 14 mile per gallon in the city. So, not too bad really if you think about it. Again, 4,600 pounds, almost 5,000 pounds on this massive vehicle. Now this does come with all the creme de la creme, the cream of the crop of features. Leather interior, sunroofs, wood trim, all the tech features that you would have wanted back in 2009. It's got it in the S550. So anyways, let's get ready to pull into our spot today, hop out, and take a look at this beautiful vehicle for sale. All right, everybody, so here's our 2009 Benz S550 4Matic. You know, we've had the pleasure of filming a few of these over the last many months here on the channel. And with no further ado, I'm super ecstatic to be able to film another one today and to film one that's definitely looking really sweet. The white, my goodness, it's really pretty on this car. It really stands out a lot. It really gives it that luxury feel and look about it, does it not? The wheels, man, they're looking good with Falcon tires. Let's go ahead and move through and take a look at this vehicle. Again, it is for sale. So if we see any dents, stings, scratches, imperfections, you know I'll point them out to you today. The headlights are in good, good shape. No major oxidation on them at all. As you can see here, they are looking beautiful. The projector headlamp bulbs, you have the blinkers, then your side park lights. You also notice on the front bumper, the sensors and the fogs at the bottom and a beautiful, prestigious Mercedes-Benz front grille. All looking nice and clean. You can tell which customers or which people really take pride in the vehicles that they drive. And this one is no excuse at all for not being taken care of because it has been taken care of. The wheels, let's take a look at them. Well, first off, there's a lot of spokes there for sure with those Falcon tires. Got plenty of tread on the tires for many years to come. Let's see what size we have. These are 255 35ZR 20s. The brand of rims here, trying to get a look at that for a moment, because I'm not familiar with who makes those wheels. M-A-N-D-R-U-S, Mandros. It also has behind the rims, if you can see there, you have your drilled rotors and big brakes. So that's looking nice. The side body on the vehicle in great shape. No major dents, stings, or scratches to be seen. No crazy waves of any type. The paint looks to be pretty much the original paint that was on this car when it was sold by the manufacturer back in 2009. Hood looks good. And I bet on a nice, bright, sunny day, it'll look even better. You have your LED lighting in the mirrors. Also having puddle lights right under when opening the door. Tinted windows. 
This is done really well. You know, a lot of times on vehicles, this will get oxidized from the sun because it's black and it, it gets baked pretty good. The tint on the car kind of has a mirror tint to it, as you can see the clouds and all right there. We'll get into the inside shortly, but you do have soft touch on all doors, and I'm assuming you're going to have it on the trunk as well. Back glass looking good. Tail lights looking nice. There it is. The S550 4Matic. And let's get a quick look at the passenger side of this car. Man, it really looks good from this angle right here. I mean, the whole car is definitely a sexy vehicle. It's big, it's long, it's got plenty of room on the inside. And one thing for sure, it's quiet. All four tires are in great shape. There you go. Let's take a look at the roof line. There's your sunroof. This is all looking good up here. One thing I always like to take a look at on pre-owned vehicles is that front window to make sure there's no cracks or any kind of rock chips. And this front glass is in great shape. And I know it might be a little tough to see on the camera right now, but from what I'm looking at right now, it seems like this front window here has also got some type of UV protectant or maybe some kind of mirror tint on it because I can really see the blue sky really well right now on the front window. I don't know if y'all can know, there you go, that's a good way to show it, look at that. So I'm pretty sure that's probably some kind of UV or something blocking. Well, hold on, let's take a look. It says sunless laminated. Okay, it's got something going on there. I like it. All right, guys, for the next part of the video, let's go ahead and pop the hood, take a look underneath, and then we'll get into the trunk, and then we'll get into the interior and take it for one more drive. Buddy, here's your 5.5 liter V8. Just shy of 400 horsepower under the hood of this beast at 4,600 pounds. Very clean and actually a very quiet motor. Again, I've had the pleasure of filming these over the last few months and the past few ones I have filmed, the engines weren't as smooth and quiet as this one. Now that may have to do with the mileage on the vehicle at some time there because some of the cars that I filmed had in the upwards of 160 to 200,000 miles on them. This car is booking in at around 126,000 miles, which isn't too bad for a 2009. But clean for sure, looks really nice under here. Also has a brand new battery and the actual correct battery size under here. So someone hasn't put a smaller battery under the car. I've seen that before. Guys and girls, please pay attention to that when you're looking at buying an S550 or any car at that matter. Make sure that the dealer, if they replace the battery, put the same size battery in. The one of them I've filmed before had a smaller battery in it. And which actually, at the end of the day, I figured out that that probably was the reason behind some of the electrical things they weren't cutting on properly and things weren't working properly. It may have been because of a smaller battery. Just my opinion. Let me know in the comments section if you think that would be accurate. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and pop the trunk. Let's see if there's a button under here. Of course there is. Just one little click. And as you can see, I mean, it just opens right on up. And then you have all this trunk space in the back of the S550. It's definitely another advantage of opening something like this is to have all that trunk space right there. Pretty nice. You know, back in the day, you had to buy an American town car or something like that to get all that kind of trunk space. Not anymore. I mean, this is it right here, folks. A little bit more storage under there. Looks like you got some tools and whatnot, okay? And then right here, you can hit this button and it should drop right on back down. Take a look at that luxury feature right there. Also got the dual exhaust. And one thing I'll point out to you today on the exhaust pipes down here, they do have the AMG logo right there. If you all, as you all can see that, get a little shot there. There we go, a little AMG for you. Definitely could use a little mother's aluminum polish on there. Wow, we. All right, guys, let's go ahead and move forward and take a look at the inside of this beautiful car. 
Moving right along on today's review, let's take a look at our driver's side door panel here. Lots of leather, wood trim, chrome and silver. You have heated and cooled seats, three different settings for memory seats. Then your power seat options are all right here. Window options here. I mean, you can hit a button to open the trunk from right there. Power mirrors. Also coming with a Harman Kardon stereo system. This opens up. You could put a little cigar in there or whatever you would like to put inside of that small storage area. And you can grab a hold of this. More storage down here. So definitely lots of little storage spots. Also getting tweeter speakers right there. So you got your component sets in the door panels. Then you have your beautiful tan leather seats, perforated with the holes in them, lets them breathe and stay cooler, because again, they are heated and cooled seats, but this perforated seat here is to help your wife if you go to the beach, or even guys, if you got some short shorts on, that leather doesn't stick to the back of your leg on a hot summer day. So that's definitely been a nice thing for sure. No rips or tears in the seats. They do have their normal wear on them, okay? But nothing really all that bad. Also looks like we got a little storage compartment under here. You could keep your nine millimeter or Glock right in there. Very nice. Coming right up top here to our steering wheel, we have tons of wood trim on the top and bottom. Cruise control and audio functions. Let's listen to the horn. Good sounding horn, not bad at all. Lighting controls here. Electronic park brake. Then your screens on the inside are all digital, as you can see right there. There's the mileage on this vehicle, 124097. To come across, your navigation and radio system displays on that screen right there. You got your clock, air vents, formatic logo. There's where your key slips in to the left. Open this up, CD player I believe. Probably has a six disc changer all right inside of there. You also have a spot to plug in your smartphone, a ashtray, cup holders underneath. Then you have your controls here. Right there, you got all controls, more seating controls. Actually from the old school phone guys, you got that there, very nice. And a nice big armrest to rest your big elbows and arms on. Open that up for a little more storage in here with a little dust, of course. It's got a nice felt liner on the inside. Most of y'all Mercedes people know what I'm talking about. Kind of like a velvet. And then this does that for that way. Okay, so you got different options with different buttons. Let's move to the back of the car and then we'll kind of look at more things as we keep moving through on today's review. Nice, big, wide back door for sure. I mean, goodness gracious, that's a big door. Then to be seeing that right there, that's something that I did not see originally when I got in the car today. This cemented, cemented bulldog. Very nice. I don't know if that comes with the car or not, but it's there. Back seats are in great shape. The color looks good on them, no rips, no tears. Your headrests are up top, okay? Rear air vents look good. This is all looking really nice. Let's see if we got an armrest or a cup rest, and we have an armrest today. Look at that, the color looks great. Opens up, the felt lining in the back looks like it's never been used. I seriously doubt that has really ever been used. I mean, it looks Perfect. If you're wondering where your cup holders are at, right here. Press in, opens right up. Beautiful shape. It does not, that I can see, I don't think I see a vent that covers up on that back window. But a few amenities that you have up top here, let me show you up on your headliner. Of course you're gonna get your mirrors. Hello everyone with a light, your oh crap handle for holding on if your driver starts getting a little funky because somebody is following you. Another mirror over here, his and hers, kind of like in those bathrooms in your nice big luxury house. More oh crap handles on every single window sill. Let's move forward and take a look at the cockpit and 
take her out for our last drive. So of course, safety is definitely something you want, right? And yes, it does have side curtain airbags, side seat airbags, airbags here, there, everywhere, maybe even knee bags, right? But what it does have is it has a backup camera. Such a simple yet important feature to have on your car. Put it in reverse and your camera is displayed right here, nice and big on that screen. You also notice it's in high definition. So the clarity is there. With the guidelines, do the guidelines move when I move my steering wheel? Of course they do not. Some cars have moving guidelines when moving steering wheels to help you back in. Our friends at Audi have done that for us. But it's okay, at least we got the camera. Now one little feature I'm gonna point out today that you might not have ever seen before, which this is really kind of cool. There's this button right here. It's got a picture of a screen that has an arrow to the right and left. Watch this screen right here. It's moving to the left and right. I know it's a little difficult to see, but depending on the sun glare coming into the car, you can move that screen just a little bit to the right or the left so you can see it just right. Also, it's got this nice big awning that kind of sits on top of there to keep it nice and dark back there. That's why they do that, folks. Cars that don't have an awning going over their screen, if you've ever driven one, it definitely at times can be a little tough to see your screen when switching through radio stations or using your navigation system. Now, other things on here, you have ESP off, Park Assist off, I believe that is. And you have a button here for the airbags. You can click on that. You have your RPM gauge here. Let's go ahead and have a listen to the engine while we're sitting inside this car. Three, two, and one. Oh, it sounds good. Would you like to hear it one more time? Oh yeah. That's that sound of that 5.5. Woo. Then you got your speedometer there, booking out at a 160 mile per hour. I'm sorry for y'all Canadians, I'm not telling you the kilometers. Also, got a quarter of a tank of gas, which is nice to see, and our temperature level is right on point. It should be right around halfway or a little bit over, and I think we're good to go on there. So that's all looking really spiffy. Also, steering wheel has paddle shifters on it for you drivers that want to get sporty. The right side is for upshifting, the left side is for downshifting, cruise control. What else do we have, right? Well, we have our air conditioner controls throughout here, like we said earlier, the radio there. Press this button here to drop down the glove box. Looks like we got an old school iPhone plug. I think they do make an adapter for this if you want to plug it into your newer phone. That cord stretches out pretty far, enough to sit the phone right there or sit the phone right here, okay? Even Chad rocks an old iPhone 5S. We'll be fixing that here very shortly. But that's the interior, very clean. Vanity mirrors look great. Light, action sunglass holders and let's check out the sunroof definitely want to make sure that works and it sure does so far today guys every single feature on this car is working radio does work i've already checked it out but we're not getting a copyright strike today this is all looking good my only complaint in this car is mercedes should have gave us some darker seat belts tan seat belts are not the good color to have just saying look how dirty they can get over time just saying the seat belt sits on people just like this and what happens if you eat or drink in the car well a little ketchup a little mustard might get on this at some point a little cherry coke that would definitely be better in a dark color i'm sure you would agree all right guys let's take it back down to the store all right everybody Let's go ahead and put her in drive and see how she does. Test out the 5.5 V8. Again, we said right around 380 horsepower, 391, I believe, on the torque. 
see how the suspension feels and how it drives. This is also a very important part of the video process to feel the motor and to listen to it. So I'm gonna be quiet for a moment and really give y'all a listen to what we got. Such a smooth ride. Suspension feels good. Feels good. Brakes feel nice. Let's give it a little gas. Oh yeah, it's got plenty of power. Just enough to get out of harm's way when driving. Folks, if you're interested in buying this beautiful 2009 S550 with 124,000 miles on it, the price is going to be $16,900. Again, folks, $16,900 is the price for this gorgeous car. If you're interested, please send me a comment and I will get you in contact with the dealer. If you're on Facebook, please let me know if you're interested. Be more than welcome to send you a message or send me a message and let's make something work out. If you don't live here in Charleston but you're interested in buying this car, just contact me. We can work out the details and pick you up from the airport. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Chad, and I'm signing out.